All right, welcome back to another episode of myself, Luke. So I hope you had a fantastic day yesterday. So in today's episode, we're going to jump into the Bitcoin price in just a second. Um, a major um, bull flag that I wanted to uh, bring up and the price target for that bull flag. People are panicking at the moment. It is September. September, generally speaking, is a terrible month in Bitcoin and the rest of the altcoin space. So we're going to jump into in, into that in just a second. But the Bitcoin dominance right now is sitting at 57.47%, which is not great for the altcoins. The altcoins, um, basically, we, we haven't had an altcoin season just yet. We've had some rallies over the past 18 months, but we're still waiting for that altcoin season. The longer this goes on, the longer Bitcoin keeps coiling up, then we're going to have a massive, massive parabolic breakout any second. Um, when I say any second, I don't expect it to be in September. The reason why is because, like I said, historically September is a terrible month. Plus there's several factors, several major events happening in September, which we're going to look at in just a second. So. If you're fearful right now, if you're new to crypto, I mean, this is normal. Um, even in the bull run, we have these pullbacks. Over the past few weeks, few months, we've had some, what, 25, 30% pullbacks. But if you just zoom out, if you look at the weekly, I mean, Bitcoin is still sitting at around 59, almost 60,000 US dollars, which was pretty much almost the peak of the last bull run. So, I mean, Bitcoin is sitting in a healthy position it's still technically going sideways. It's just consolidating, and we're going to check out um, some TA in just a second. So, yes, for the rest of the altcoins, the long the longer this goes on, um, sadly, if we continue uh, to go higher in dominance, because people are are fearful at the moment, they don't know what's going to happen um, with the U.S. elections, etc., and other factors. Um, so, people are just going into stable coins. And also into less volatile assets such as Ethereum and uh, with Bitcoin because it's safer. So, I mean, just to put it into perspective, I've just seen a ton coin today. It's just dry, it's just fallen off a cliff. I mean, it was at like five dollars something, and we've just literally in the last day, we have gone down ninety four percent. I mean, almost one hundred percent. We've gone from five dollars twenty eight. Um, I don't know the reason why this is. I'm going to check that out today, bring it out tomorrow. But we're currently uh, down. Um, sorry if you've got this coin. I've, I've never spoken about it on my channel. I don't even know what it is. Um, but yeah, it, it just shows how fast altcoins can absolutely dump. So I'll check out that. But yeah, it's down almost 100%, which is crazy. So I mean, that's probably a freak what's happened there something uh, I don't know behind the scenes has happened with the uh, I don't know with the with the tech with the, the the people behind it who knows so I'm going to check that out um, let me know in the comments uh, if you know more about this I certainly don't but over the course of uh, the day so far uh, the rest of the altcoins are doing pretty well for the week obviously everything is down 10 to 20 percent except obviously this one and the month is pretty uh, yeah it's 50 50 over the course of the month so if in doubt just zoom out i mean overall if you got into altcoins over the past year then you're still up uh, if you jumped into it this year then obviously uh, you haven't made that many gains uh, at this moment maybe in meme coins um but that's been the yeah the sentiment of the market at the moment has been uh meme coins over the past 18 months one year or so but I still expect, like in yesterday's show, AI and gaming to outperform the rest of uh, the altcoin genre. Um, so this week I'm going to try and uh, come, well not just this week, this week, next week, uh, going into uh, the back end of September, looking at AI and gaming tokens, um, just telling you what I'm jumping into and, and so on. So I do expect September to be a quiet month or we do drop a little bit lower like we saw yesterday on uh, the Bitcoin returns for the month of September. So if we do drop, then I'm expecting us to come down, first of all, to retest that $52,000 level. If we smash through that, then the next level of resistance is all the way down here at 
thousand US dollars. So some major events that I want to bring out before we do some TA in September. You're probably aware of this. Again, September has proven to be a tough month for crypto and several key factors um, could affect the market conditions uh, going into September. It's only the 3rd of September, but something uh, that's happening on the 6th of September is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The upcoming jobs report is one of the major key events that is set to happen in three days time. So earlier reports have shown that they can move the crypto market and this can be supported by the drop in prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum against the August report. So that's coming out in three days. Um, September again generally proven to be a very tough month in the crypto market. Bitcoin fell to around 26 to 27,000 range in September 2023 and it was a similar case in 2022 when Bitcoin fell as low as 18,000 and traded in the range of 22,000 amidst the market downturn. And then interestingly it says um, Bitcoin which peaked in 2021 also saw its price drop between 41 to 48,000 in uh, September but then we had that uh, rally to uh, the upside so you can go and check out my video yesterday you can go and check out the monthly returns so number one September generally historically is a terrible month the second is on the 6th we have the labor statistics job report which is in three days time and also on the 10th of September we have the debate between Camilla Harris and Donald Trump I mean, I don't, I don't go into politics, but they can have a massive effect on the crypto space. I mean, it's just, it's as simple as that. So the 6th and the 10th, big events. And one major thing that I'm looking out for, which I spoke about yesterday, I didn't give the date, but I wasn't sure about it, is September 18th. We have the Federal, uh, the federal Reserve interest rate decision could affect the crypto and traditional markets. So the market is expecting an interest rate cut of 25 to 50 basis points. So this for me, of course, with the, the, the debate happening and also on the 6th, but for me, this is the biggest one, in my opinion, September 18th, to look out for uh, the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. So this is what I spoke about yesterday, so you can go and check out that. So a few, several major things happening in the space in the course of September, which could cause a lot of volatility. So if you watched my video yesterday, I was telling you that I'm not buying anything. I'm just waiting on the sidelines until after September 18th, probably September 20th, just to let this die down. And then from the back end of September, if we have dumped, I'll be looking at a swing long position in Bitcoin, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. And also I'll be jumping into my AI and uh, gaming cryptos uh, towards the end of this month, because I believe if we do have a, a pullback or a dump, it will be the last pullback and dump ready for October going into Christmas period, where usually in the bull market, it's absolutely parabolic. So we haven't seen anything yet. I mean, it's been a great year overall, but we haven't seen anything in terms of uh, an altcoin season. Uh, we still need to see this Bitcoin dominance come tumbling right down here to around 50% and back into the 40s for a true altcoin season. So let's just jump very quickly um, to finish this episode into the uh, Bitcoin TA. So uh, on the Bollinger Bands, I notice on the four hour we are... Um, where was it? There we go. Right there. The Bollinger Bands. We are squeezing up on the Bollinger Bands on the four hourly. So this will indicate a move uh, coming any second. So usually when we squeeze up, then we're going to uh, have a, a move to the upside downside. It's 50-50 with the Bollinger Bands. You just got to look at the trend. Are we in an uptrend, downtrend? Um, and then normally it will follow uh, that pattern. So yes, short term we've been uh, heading down from that uh, $73,000 level so could we be uh, falling um, a lot lower of course it's September like I've been saying we're also below the which is not great the uh, EMA ribbons on the four hourly and the daily we're struggling to break above it um, so all these different indications for me points maybe we go a little bit lower um, Personally, I don't think we're going to go down to 43,000. It could happen, 
but I think 52,000 will be the most likely uh, target. So I'll be expecting maybe yeah, coming down 8 to 10% down to that $52,000 level, which I wouldn't be surprised in the month of September. And then we get a bounce off that 52K uh, at the end of September going into October. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope we just um, basically go up from here and start um, retesting that 67 and then we can start talking about that all-time high so what could we expect in the long term if we go back to the weekly what I wanted to bring out so of course we have this huge cup and handle pattern uh, form and I've spoken about this several times on my show um, other youtubers as well have spoken about this huge cup there that we have I mean it's very clear and we're forming this uh, handle if this plays out which I think it will then the price target is well over a hundred thousand US dollars but let's just take it into consideration this um, bull flag so we do have this bull flag uh, here let me just measure this so we have this bull flag here and let's just measure it from here there we go So where would this take us, this bull flag? So we can still, I mean, if you notice this bull flag, we can still come all the way down and retest the 53,000, which is not too far from uh, our price target of 52,000. If we go down to that level, I will be putting in a swing long position, maybe on a, a very small leverage, three to five X, um, and I'll be riding this thing up because I don't think, if we do get a bounce off here, I get my swing long position, then I think if that happens at the end of this month, going into October I don't think we'll be coming back down it would just be a rocket ship for the next three months um, and going up to that hundred thousand dollar level so this uh, price target here as you can see is around eighty four thousand US dollars just for this bull flag um, but we still have some uh, room uh, to come back down here um, if you want to trade this again what I, what I say is not financial advice but if you want to trade this then either you wait for that um, that retest of around uh, 53, 52,000, or we break through uh, that fifth, that 66 to 67,000, where you can uh, trade this uh, from this point all the way up here, which is still a nice 23%. So either you wait for the breakout at the top, or you wait for it to retest the bottom and then you ride this up 55%. So again, that's just uh, yeah, short term to mid term. Uh, for me, I'm really looking at this huge uh, cup and handle. I might bring this out on another on another video um, and show you the price target there. So thanks guys and girls for sticking right to the end. Leave any comments in the section below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye bye.